हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू भाभी ई लर्निंग चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माय चैनल नाउ वी विल लर्न साइंस लेसन वन ग्रीन प्लांट्स सो फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो व्हाई द कलर ऑफ लीव इज ग्रीन द ग्रीन कलर ऑफ लीव्स कम फ्रॉम अ सब्सटेंस कॉल्ड क्लोरोफिल दिस सब्सटेंस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग फूड और टू अक फोटोसिंथेसिस Now we will learn parts of leaf. Leaves have different shapes, sizes and different parts. Well, we discuss about parts of leaf. There are some basic parts. Blade Main vein Apex side vents petiole and stomata blade is the broad flat part of leaf main vein which runs along the center vents are hollow tubes for carrying water apex tip of leaf side vents vents that branch out from the midrib petiole the part that joins the leaf stomata a tiny hole stomata air can enters and leaves the plant through this openings it helps the plant to breathe stomata is very tiny hole now what are the functions of leaf make food for plant stomata helps to breathe it stores food transpiration or evaporation of water reproduction or vegetative propagation some leaf of plants can be eaten as food for example spinach and mint leaf of some plant can be used as medicine for example tulsi leaf and mint leaf how green leaves produce food green leaves can produce food with the help of light energy carbon dioxide and water this process is called photosynthesis in photosynthesis light energy from the sun is absorbed by green substance called chlorophyll here carbon dioxide enters through the stomata water is absorbed through the roots and carried through the stem to the rest plant water carbon dioxide and sunlight combine in the leaf produce glucose and oxygen oxygen and water vapor exit the leaf through stomata Water loss from leaves is called transpiration. Interdependence of plants and animals. Here the picture shows food chain. Plants and animals depend on each other for food pollination. seed dispersal look at the picture some animals eating plants such as herbivore some animals eating flesh of other animals called carnivore plants depend on animals for pollination so what is pollination pollination helps in the growth of new plants 
Animals transfer pollen grains from one flower to another. Butterfly, wasps, bees are some pollinators. Plants attract them through sweet nectar. Nice smell or fragrance. Colorful flowers. Plants need to have their seeds spread over a wide area. Animals eat fruits, seeds get stuck to their fur and are carried away and dispersed at distance. This is called seed dispersal. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.